It's the rescue that was seen around the world. In a world first, the Little Ripper drone saves two teenagers caught in rough seas. Little Ripper's expertise will be harnessed in a research and development role as part of a new partnership between Westpac and Surf Life Saving Australia. We are extending our partnership with Surf Life Saving Australia to put 51 drones across Australian beaches this summer. Which means that our volunteers can undertake a training course over a weekend and be qualified to fly the drones. But think beyond the surf clubs, which only cover about 5% of the Australian coastline, it allow us then to use the drones for basically aerial surveillance so that those areas where people are getting into trouble uh, will be able to use the drones to coordinate rescue resources to get there to rescue them. Westpac's association with drones goes back to 2015 when a chance encounter sparked a big idea. I was always interested in, in new things. I can, uh, little known that I had the first patent of the first electronic book in the world in 82 or 83. It was called the Smart Book. The Macquarie Dictionary I published was the first dictionary in the world to be computerised. The tech savvy entrepreneur's other great passion is surf lifesaving. Wow, it's embarrassing. I joined when I was still at Brisbane Grammar when I was 15 as the club's first cadet, so 70 years. During a trip to the States, the philanthropist saw firsthand the effectiveness of drones for search and rescue missions after Hurricane Katrina. This gave him an idea. I said to Brian Hart, well, that's a very old idea, Brian. I've got a new idea. I thought it sounded like a pretty exciting evolution of technology. He said, yeah, come and have a meeting. It was obviously very closely aligned with our support for the helicopters. I did up a drone and sneaked it into the boardroom. He walked in, it was all painted up in the W colours, and he took seconds to say I like it. So we decided to give it a go and it's amazing to see how rapidly that technology has evolved over the last couple of years. Uh, we have different algorithms that come flow through the camera down to our ground station and uh, the pilot's able to be warned about any different types of marine life. Sharks were always a problem for lifesavers in my day. I unfortunately was uh, in the water with a friend when he got uh, uh, fatally attacked by a shark and I was involved in that and that's something you never forget. Now we, we have developed a shark algorithm so our machine can fly along and automatically uh, hover over a shark in the water because it identifies it automatically. Uh, with about a 96% accuracy, which is usually only about 20 odd percent. We've had a 45 year association with the Westpac Rescue Helicopters and the evolution of this program to put drones around 50 beaches around Australia just seemed like a really natural extension of that program and I think it's going to give more people confidence to go out and enjoy the, the beach this summer. <laughs>